I've had this breed over 34 years. I chose this breed because they're very versatile, loving, loving and very loyal. Mm -hmm. And could you uh, maybe uh, talk a little bit of difference in between what the Chesapeake offers compared to, say, other uh, retriever breeds? Um, I can try. I'm not real familiar with a lot of them. Uh, mm -hmm. The Chesapeake offers versatility. They're one of few retrievers that can do a lot of stuff. Show, therapy, hunt, mm -hmm. field. Whereas uh, Labradors, um, their breed actually, their breed actually has split to show, and then the hunt field. The field, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, whereas the Chesapeake's have not split off yet, yeah, and they don't have any plans of it actually. That's awesome. What are some of the activities that you do with your dogs? The activities we do, we do show. They have handlers. I can't take credit for that. Um, the hunt tests we do. And, um, again, their Aunt Sunny will run Brute Master. So mm -hmm. we do hunt tests. Therapy, we do a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. And even though COVID's going on, we I have a um, mattress downstairs, and we work on our therapy all the time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they also have done dock diving, which mm -hmm. they like, and, um, just pretty much chill out with the family. Mm -hmm. So when we have a litter of puppies, we actually, um, we had a wait list for Brute and Salem's puppies of 19 males and 13 females. Uh, our ideal home would be, I like to hear that they're family. Mm-hmm. So that's really things that I listen to. Uh, I also like that people know how to hunt or they do outdoor activities. And the big thing is they're just part of the family, you know. And I tell uh, people who get our puppies that they are extended family. My responsibility to my pups don't end when they leave the door it ends when these dogs are 13 and pass away mm -hmm. and then you know i'd still be there but um that's when our that's what i tell people so we're looking really for people that think these dogs are family we put a lot of love and care for them these puppies are raised in the room across from our bedroom they're raised in the house they constantly have hands on with people coming and going our family so um you know, and we have dogs from Maine to Alaska, puppies out there. Awesome. And I don't ship my dogs. So I fly my puppies personally. I go with my pups to the new owners. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 I Because we've put so much love into these puppies. Mm -hmm. They are family. So we... Um, you know, I fly them out to their new owners and, you know, their new owners can fly here and I'll meet them at the airport and we talk. Mm -hmm. But, um, usually how it works is they'll pay for a ticket to fly out there, my ticket, and then, um, a hotel room for the night. And then, um, they come to the hotel and they pick up the puppy and then, you know, we send them off with, I'm a master quilter. So I send them off with a a baby quilt that, you know, I've made and an angel and all sorts of stuff. I usually give like Chesapeake books and, uh, toys and they get dog food, puppy food, and they get sent with puppy pads and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. My daughter, Susanna toy. <laughs> she just came in. <laughs> Yeah, so we, you know, it's, and usually I make a bag that we put everything into. So they get sent home with quite a bit. I mean, they're very well loved. And, you know, if they're born, like, <laughs> if they're born, that's my daughter, Savannah, mm -hmm. the one I was telling you about, the bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she cries when the puppies leave. But, you know, we have such amazing homes, and usually we have 25, 30 applications we go through. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We had one litter that was uh, in November they left, and I made stockings for them and angels. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so plus their quilts and everything else. Oh. You know, I saw at a um, dog show mm -hmm. when I went to pick up Brute, it, I think it was a Russian retriever. 
Okay. And from what I could see, it was black and it looked like it had curls. It was amazing. I was like, if I didn't have chest peaks, that's the dog I would get. It was just big and beautiful. And I asked one of the handlers because she came by me and I asked permission to pet him. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, he was so soft. And Mm -hmm. I was talking to her about the breed and she said they were just great. Mm -hmm. They were just wonderful dogs. So that and a sheep dog. Okay. I love sheep dogs. Yeah. They're just beautiful. How about a uh, a small small dog? What if you had to I'm choose not one? Really, if I had to choose one, I'd say an Australian Shepherd. But we have them on the ranch. Okay. We have healers. Okay. They're smart. They open and shut our gates. Right. <laughs> I mean, they're just really smart dogs. They even sit on our horses when we're riding. So mm-hmm. they'll sit in the saddle. Yeah. So. I think if I had to have a small dog that I've never had, I think a Scotty, the black go. Scotty. There you go. Those are adorable. Yeah. They have look. beards. Uh-huh. They're pretty cute. Well, that's pretty much for, for me. Uh, any last words? No, I just, um, I think if people are going to get involved with Chesapeake's, make sure you have a mentor. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, my advice to everybody regardless of the breed is if people tell you they have health clearances and stuff, just make sure you see the paperwork, Mm -hmm. you know, um, any breeder should, uh, be okay with that. Um, you know, or ask them for an OFA link and things like that. Cause mine are up there and a lot of breeders are up there. A lot of Chesapeake breeders are up there also. Right. So, but I would say just make sure you get health clearances, right? You know, it's that's the important thing and then you know see what the commitment is and um you know uh if i need help are you going to be there to help me Mm -hmm. or does my your commitment end once i leave Mm -hmm. you know that'd be my thing because you you know no matter which type of dog you have you want to make sure that you have uh somebody there to help you if you have questions and i tell everybody they have my cell phone, you know, text me anytime, and they do, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's okay, because if I don't know the answer, you better believe I'm calling somebody to find out the answer, yeah. or I call my vet even. Yeah, yeah. We've had the same vet for nine years since we moved out here, mm-hmm. and she's from uh, Dr. Heimel out in Banfield, Nisquash. She's from uh, Minnesota, and she knows Chesapeake's really well. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Yeah, and she has she she has seen uh, Brutus, Lily, and Osiris, and then she has seen Lily's puppies and Salem's puppies. So it's really nice because she's you know she sees them, and um, so I don't do do claws. My vet does them, mm-hmm. and she microchips them, and they get their shots from the vets. Cool. So before any puppy leaves this house, they are microchipped. Mm-hmm. And I'm on their secondary in case they can't get a hold of their owners. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. I guess my last piece of advice to anybody that has a dog, I would make sure you get insurance on your dogs. Mm-hmm. Because you never know what's going to happen. Right. And there's there's affordable insurance out there. Mm-hmm. I can send you one of Brutus's Hamler at the show. Yeah, that'd be... Yeah. That's where it all started. People saw him at the show. And uh, that's why we had a wait list of 19 males and 13 females. They're wow. like, wow. it was crazy. I was like, are you kidding me? A, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he really is a nice dog. We love him very much. And yeah. he's big. He's a big guy. He yeah. looks big. and he's But he is the gentlest person you'll ever, gentlest dog you'll ever be. <laughs> cool. But sure, I'll send you pictures. Um, yeah. yeah. Bruce right. up here laying down. That's <laughs> what he's playing with his toy. So this dog, he's actually brutal. Uh, he's at the top of his standards, but weight wise, he's like ninety pounds. Uh-huh. So you can't wick at a Chesapeake, which means you cannot measure them because they are so different size, shape, and everything. Uh-huh. So that's one rule in show: you can't wick at a Chesapeake. Nice and you know they're just so playful too. That's mm-hmm. something I should have said. Chesapeakes are very playful. Mm-hmm. They're just not all business. They know how to relax. Right. But, yeah, so you can't go wrong with them. And they're great. I mean, they're great with kids, too. Yeah. 
and my other 22 year old's got two of them okay cool so she's got brute's uh son and then she's got osiris's son so but yeah and you know she you know when you've got younger kids or younger couples i mean you need some dog that's gonna bark if there's something out there you know so with her having twinkle and junior and his name is junior because he looks like brute so she named him junior because he's going to be a big boy too but you know when you have these dogs that will bark to protect you i mean hearing them bark they have such a deep bark Mm -hmm. and it it'll scare people off from breaking in like Mm -hmm. brute i think i've heard him growl in his almost four years maybe three times Mm mm-hmm and he has like a very deep rumble from hell. Mm, I bet. 